Hi, and welcome to a new Infinite Flight Airport Editing Tutorial. In this tutorial, I will cover the setup and use of satellite image software SRS Planet. Please note that SRS Planet is only available for Windows users. Mac users might ask other editors who use Windows to get satellite images from them. So, let's get started. The first step to use SRS is the download. You can get a copy of the program by searching for SIS Planet Nightly on Google. You will find this site in the results. Once you open the link, the program will be downloaded automatically. As you can see, the program is packed in a .7z file, so you need to extract it. Therefore, you will need a program like 7zip, since Windows is unable to extract it. Just follow the link in the video description, you will find a copy of 7-zip there. Once 7-zip is installed, you can go to the downloaded SRS folder. Right click on it and you should see a 7-zip option. Go to Extract and choose a folder to extract SRS into. Once that unpacking is done, open the folder where the unzipped version is saved. Look for an application file that's called SS Planet and run that one. You should now see that, then you have installed it correctly. Let's start with using the application. The first thing to do is searching for the airport you want to edit in the search bar. ICAO codes might be recognized, but usually they are not. So rather search with the name of the city or the airport. Once you've found the airport, you can choose from various maps. Google Maps, Bing Maps and Yandex Maps are usually available for all airports. Just choose the picture with the best quality and the latest images. When you found a good image, you need to select the area you want to have in the picture. You want to have the entire airport in your selection, including the boundary. You can either use a rectangular selection or a polygonal selection, where you can select the edge of the selection manually. So just select the airport and once you are done, this window will pop up. Select either 19 or 20 or also both in the list on the right in the download menu and hit download. It might take some time to download the image. Once this is done, hit this last selection button and go to the stitch page. At first, select a folder to save the image at here and enter a name for the image. After that, select zoom level 19 or 20. The higher the number, the better the image, but the larger the file you will get. The last thing to do is to select the KML file to get the coordinates you will use to align the image. In case you are doing a very large airport with zoom level 20, the image size may be larger than 20 or even 50 megabytes. World Editor is only able to display images with a size up to around 15 megabytes. If you import the image into World Editor and it only shows a white box, you need to reduce the file size. You can do this by either reducing the quality or the zoom level, or you can split the image into several smaller ones here. This will keep the quality of the picture up. You will get several images and one KML file per image. So, we now have the images. All we need to do now is to import them into World Editor. Go to File, Import Auto Photo and select the images you generated with SRS.
To align them correctly, open the KML files with another program like Notepad. You will see a north, a south, an east and a west coordinate. Per corner you will need two coordinates. For example, when you select the upper left corner for, of an image, you will need to copy the north coordinate to the latitude section and the west coordinate to the longitude section. Here you have a quick overview which coordinates need to be added at which corner. In the end you will have a perfectly aligned satellite image in World Editor you can use to create your airport on. You may want to order the image below the airport file in the objects list on the right so the image doesn't cover any taxiways. Thanks for watching this tutorial on Infinite Flight Airport Editing. Also check out the other videos we offer to help you with creating airports for Infinite Flight.